Is the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan inevitable? No. The country is essentially now in the hands of the Taliban. This is a frightening situation. It's an embarrassing situation. There's panic. There's hysteria. You have Taliban fighters with guns. We're talking about Americans. We left people behind, and we don't do that. It's an absolute embarrassment. He is so unprepared for what's going on in this country. There's going to be no circumstance where you see people being lifted off the roof from Afghanistan. It seems the Biden administration, again, has no plan that has created another crisis in Afghanistan. That was four days ago, five days ago. The mission hasn't failed yet. When I hear these things about let's make America great again, I think to myself, well, exactly when did you think America was great? There have been times where America's shown arrogance and been dismissive, even derisive. America was an idea. We've never lived up to it, and we have to let our kids know as we raise them. Children, if your parents haven't been teaching you what it means to be an American, let them know and nail them on it. They recognize that some people did something. Abortion, I salute you! It's a message of white supremacy. We're not gonna make America great again. It was never that great. My right, fellow American, it looks like some things have changed. My right, fellow Americans, it looks like some things have changed. Are we doing a good enough job teaching our children what America is and what she represents? If you want an abortion, get one! Younger parents aren't sure that an appreciation of America is the right thing to teach modern children. We're not going to make America great again. It was never that great. When I drive into a neighborhood and there are American flags, it's a message of white supremacy. I'm warning of an eradication of the American memory that could result in an erosion of the American spirit. We need to completely dismantle the police department. If we forget what we did, we won't know who we are. We've got to do a better job of getting across that America is free. And freedom is special and rare. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of enterprise. As long as we remember our first principles and believe in ourselves, the future will always be ours. Ours was the first revolution in the history of mankind that truly reversed the course of government and with three little words, we the people. We the people are free. Once you begin a great movement, there's no telling where it'll end.